In this third test, our goal is to identify vendor payments where the vendor does not exist in the vendor table. We will do this by relating the paid invoice table to the vendor table, identifying suspect vendor payments. This test is very similar to the last test. However, we will then summarize the results of the unmatched query by vendor number. get started, we will go to the table view to recognize that the invoices paid and the vendor table are both contained in our open database. Switching to the query window, we will click on the button to create a new query and then the Find Unmatched Query Wizard button to compare the records in the two tables we found. The invoices paid table is the table we want to compare with the vendor table. We will select the invoices pay table in the first dialog box and the vendor table in the next dialog box. We click a field in the two boxes display to tell Access which field is found in both tables. We will make sure that the vendor number field is the selected field in both boxes. To view all fields in our query results data sheet, we will click the double arrow button. All fields are now displayed. In the next window, we will keep the name that is supplied for this query. Invoices paid without matching vendor. We are finished. There are numerous paid invoice records for vendors not on file. If we want to quickly view and count the number of records for any single vendor number displayed, we could use the Filter by Selection button. We will click on one of the displayed vendor numbers and then click the Filter by Selection button on the top query toolbar. This filter finds all matching records for the vendor number we selected. Access displays the results. The number of filtered records is displayed at the bottom of the window. There are 53 records for this single vendor. If we want to total the invoice amounts for this vendor and the under vendors that are displayed as vendors not found in our vendor table, we could create a summary query. We will close the Query Data Sheet view using the Save and the Close buttons and then return to the Query window. To create a summary query, we will use a wizard once again to assist us. In this example, we are creating a query based on our last query. We will select the New button in the Query window and then select the Simple Query Wizard option before clicking OK. The last object we created may be displayed as the object to use for this second query. If it isn't, we can select it from the Query pull-down list of objects. We find that the last query is selected, Invoices Paid Without Matching Vendor, and we will use it. We will limit the number of fields we want to display in our query results. Let's add the vendor number and the invoice amount fields to our query by using the single arrow button to select them. In this next dialog box, we will select to summarize these records making the query into a summary query. We will click the Summary Option button to choose Values to Sum On. In this dialog box, Access will display all numeric fields that had been added to the query. We will click on the option to sum the invoice amounts and also to count up the number of invoices paid without matching vendor. 
the wizard is creating a group totals queries for us. Our records will be grouped by the single field of vendor number and then totaled, summed, by the selected invoice amount field. In the next dialog box, we will change the name of this query to Summary of Invoices Paid Without Matching Vendor. We are finished. Access has summed by vendor number the invoice amount field and counted up for us the number of records per group. If we would like to see the vendor who has the largest count of records, we could sort in descending order the count column. We might also want to see the vendor with the largest invoice dollar amount. By sorting the invoice amount column in descending order, we could view the amounts in highest to lowest value order. Remember, these totals are for vendors not found in our vendor table. We should do further research to find out who these vendors are and why they aren't part of our master file.